This is a holiday. I, I know why, no, I know why, I know. I, I get the excitement. Because it's, uh, it's a holiday crowd. It's, it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> but it is, it's Groundhog Day. And, and you know, this year because the groundhog is brown and it gets pulled from its home, uh, ice is involved. So. <laughs> but forget Groundhog Day. The only large rat-like creature I'm concerned about is Devin Nunes. This guy. <laughs> And his memo got released today. And of course, it's not fair to single him out. All the Republicans these days are tre treasonous rats. <laughs> and and they're, all, you know, they're all together. They're on a retreat in West Virginia. And the, the people of that town are onto them because the banner said, Welcome Banana Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we're turning into. I mean, this, this slow-moving coup that I've been talking about since before the election, uh, you know, kind of picked up speed this week. Trump uh, declassified this Nunes memo, which is supposed to make us think that our own top law enforcement people are crooked so Trump can get away with his Russia crimes. <laughs> Problem is, the Republicans talk about this memo, you know, like it's some smoking gun piece of evidence that they uncovered. No, they wrote it. <laughs> they... <laughs> They uncovered it in their printer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not an intelligence document. It's, it's a Facebook post that you'd briefly skim before a clicking unfriend. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> the Republican, they did not like what the FBI was finding out about Trump. So, like the true patriots they are of Russia... <laughs> They attack the FBI and the Justice Department because they're biased. Yes, because they're in law enforcement and the Trump, Trump crime family commits crimes. So that's what they're supposed to do. It's like saying the exterminator is biased against the termites. <laughs> this... Pace myself. I know I get pissed off too early. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but, right? But don't you? I mean, this Republican delusion that Robert Mueller, a Republican who's there because of Trump, uh, is conspiring with Rod Rosenstein, the acting attorney general, a Republican who's there because of Trump, and, of course, Mueller's old buddy, Jim Comey, another Republican appointed by Trump. And, and Trump's attitude is, geez, what a bunch of, what a bunch of idiots. Who, 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 who put them in charge? <laughs> but, but... but okay, smearing the FBI and the Justice Department is not the only thing that fat Nixon was up to this week. <laughs> <laughs> It was also State of the Union time here in America. The address, the address was delivered by Trump's alter ego, teleprompter Trump. <laughs> I'm not going to say the President of the United States can't read. <laughs> but it's obvious he doesn't get a lot of practice at it. <laughs> not great at the teleprompter. First of all, during rehearsals, he kept referring to it as Surrey. Uh, and he read it so slow. He looked like a guy taking an eye exam. <laughs> At one point, Stormy Daniels pretended to come just to make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... But did you watch this speech? He mentioned all the floods, you know, the, the wildfires, the storms we've had. Never once link them to climate change. Yes, probably the work of the deep state, wouldn't you imagine? <laughs> and he bragged, of course, about, you know, the biggest tax cuts in history. No, <laughs> like the eighth biggest. If, if we're finally seeing wages going up, they've been going up for years. Car companies are building again and expanding. No, that's been going on for years. Where's the guy at the State of the Union who yells, you lie when you need him? <laughs> And 
As with, with all State of the Unions, you know, it was the, the gallery. You know, they have the people up in the gallery, what they call the stunt casting. <laughs> they do. They have the people who tug at your heartstrings, and there were. I mean, there were parents of victims of the MS-13 crime gang, and there was a blind double amputee Marine, and then there was one that, I must say, really got to me. There was a woman in the gallery who has been forced to be married to Donald Trump for 13 <laughs> years. <laughs> And, uh, oh, did you see Melania? She was all decked out, all white outfit from Dior, Dolce & Gabbana blouse, Louboutin heels, and a shock collar in case she made a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have any doubts that Melania is very pissed and humiliated by the Stormy Daniels thing, she broke all precedent, did not travel to the speech to the Capitol with the president. She came separately, as usual. 